What are your top three red flags in a guy? Ooh, ooh, man. Hmm. It's hard Uh-oh. to, like, do top three. Top three? Dang, what? You got many? Okay, top I f- five. I feel like I'm always, like, red flag. Or, like, you know. <laughs> red flag. Everything's a red, red flag. flag. <laughs> um, I feel like if they're still talking to their ex a lot, uh-huh. like, or, like, if they just got out of a five-year relationship, like. Yeah. Don't, don't date anyone who just got out of a very long-term relationship because yeah. they are not the love of your life. Yeah. They're not going to date you. You're just a rebound. Type shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, if they cancel and make excuses a lot yeah. or just in general can't really communicate or get their story straight, yeah. that's really off-putting. Um, hmm. These ones are deep. These ones are deep. I feel like, hmm. Let me think a second. <laughs> First, I got a white claw. Yeah. <laughs> Cleanse the palate. Right. Let's see here. What did I say? <laughs> um, You said. um. In contact with her ex. In contact with her ex slash just got out of a long-term relationship. And the second one, um, I was listening, I swear. I know. I was but I listening, did too. It was just there, too. I just remembered it. It's, like, on the tip of my tongue. Um, fuck. I know. Don't you hate when that happens? My Adderall wore off. Like, I'm like... (laughs) (laughs) Huh. All right, we'll move on from that one. What is the pettiest reason... (laughs) What is the pettiest reason you've stopped talking to somebody before? Um... Honestly, if I just get the ick, you yeah. know, and that what can happen, that could happen for any reason. Yeah. Oftentimes, if they call me babe or something prematurely, I'm like, oh, yeah. why are you calling me that? Like, yeah. I'm not your babe. Like, you know, I've always like not liked it. Like, and also, people, do, you, like, do you not know my name? Is that why you're calling me babe? Yeah. Is that like, what you think normally? I really? mean, it is a common trope if men only call you pet names and they probably are entertaining other women and don't remember your name. Damn. Yeah. Damn. It's yeah. And she's giving out a free game here. By the way, guys. Here, guys. So take some notes here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like the pettiest reason I ever stopped talking to a girl for. I think one of the pettiest reasons I ever stopped talking to a girl for is because she was just like too manly towards me. Like it was like like she was way too sexually aggressive. It was like mm-hmm. like we just I had just started going to the school in uh, Topeka. Mm-hmm. And like I remember the v- the very first day, like I remember walking in class and like I was going to my seat and they introduced me and then she was like, "Ooh, girl, he fine." Like she said that to one of uh, her friends or whatever. But then like from there, it would just be like really aggressive. Like she would like message me and be like, "What are you gonna give me that dick?" And I'm just like, "Whoa!" I'm like, "Chill yeah, out, damn. bro." I'm like, "I don't like this. I don't like this at all." So yeah, no go for me. Yeah, I think definitely when they like you more than you like them. Yeah. And it takes me a long time to decide if I like someone. Yeah. Because, again, it's like I have to investigate. Like, yeah. do you really mean what you say? Like, Type or shit. are you just telling me what you think I want to hear? Right. right. Which is usually the case. Nine times out of ten. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, they're just trying to do whatever, throw spaghetti at the wall. See which one sticks. Until you have sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I've gotten a little savvy. Yeah. You know, over the years. So is it acceptable for a guy to take a girl to the Cheesecake Factory on the first date? Have you been seeing all this <laughs> stuff about this? Because um, I feel like, honestly, oh my, I'm just, my take on this is if I take you to the Cheesecake Factory, that's a damn good date. Yeah. I mean, I've only had cheesecake from there. I've never eaten there, personally. Good food. But the cheesecake stank. The cheesecake like, is fire. No, I think she was overreacting. Hella, uh, right? I'm hella, like, dang, the no. Cheesecake Factory ain't cool I now. I mean, I feel like that's a good enough pl- place. Gosh, I man. love food, though. So Yeah, me too. And I'm just like, dang, also, if I can't take a girl to the Cheesecake Factory, where am I supposed to take her? Like, I got to take her to Maggiano's or freaking Ruth Chris the first time? Nobu or Nora. Nobu or, or Nobu, something? Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. Clearly. Just, duh. To, <laughs> right? Duh. <laughs> Are you a high value man or not? <laughs> I guess not, man. Like, I mean, Cheesecake Factory is ten minutes away. It's here in the local Tulsa. Yeah. Like, that's a great day. I mean, Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, I mean, if you go to a restaurant at all, cool. Yeah. Uh, I do kind of agree with the coffee date thing. Yeah. Like, I've just had so many men waste my time and not pay for my coffee. 
Dang, Mind you, no, no, coffee. that's the fucking thing, and that's oh, that's an instant turn off. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they're like, well, I just want to make sure you're not a gold digger. I'm like, well, clearly there's no gold here. If you can't, <laughs> if you can't afford three dollars and fifty cents, <laughs> sir, like I'll just take this coffee to go. Like, holy yeah. shit. No, I had someone refuse to pay for my four dollar slice of pizza. Really? But he offered to pay for three drinks afterwards. Uh that's how they get you. Crazy, yeah, that's crazy. And I was just like, no, I'm not gonna get drinks with you. Like, what? I can even can you even get give me like, a single slice of no, pizza. No, like literally, like the waitress just looked at me. I was like, <laughs> like yes, girl, I fucking know. Like this is embarrassing for him. <laughs> like, so is there like like is there other places like as movies? Is that an acceptable first date? Um, I don't think that's a good idea because you can't really talk to each other. Exactly. Like, fucking thank you. I do not. I don't like, like that's going more to the movies, of like a period. couples date thing. I don't even know? like going to the movies as a couple. Really, I like to go alone. Really? Yeah, I just saw, that makes more sense. I saw Mean Girls alone and like the Avengers. The new one? Yeah, and Avengers Endgame I went alone. But and the like, new one really is good. like a musical though, right? Yeah. See, I don't like the musical because I honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Fuck it. I loved Mean Girls. Mean Girls oh, is a good ass fucking movie. It's cult classic. But I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear a musical. I don't like okay, musicals. Okay, but there are some moments in the movie that like kind of like references and ties it together. We're like, oh, like. You know, yeah. kind of like tying up loose Do they bring some ends. of the old girls back? Uh, a lot of the teachers are the same teachers. Oh, really? Yeah, like Mrs. Yeah. Norbit, like yeah. the principal, yeah. like the, I think the gym teacher is the same too. Lit. And they did cut out like the coach trans stuff and like, you know, some of the raunchier things, but yeah. I think they probably did that for the Broadway part too, yeah. you know, the musical. Right, right. But so, it was really cute. Uh, I enjoyed it. Have you ever been on a uh, bad first date? I've been on many bad first dates. Really? What's the worst? Um, okay, the worst, most recent one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we had, like, started the day off early and stuff, like, and we went to go to, like, a museum. Uh-huh. And I guess he had already been there a bunch before. I had never been there. And so he was just kind of like, here it is. And, like, already I could tell. I was like, I don't think this guy likes me. <laughs> like, yeah. this just the vibes have been off already. And so I'm, like, trying to actually look at the art, and he's already, like, down the hallway gone. So I'm like, oh, okay. So we, like, zip through this museum and then, like, take a stroll around some, like, pond in the outside of the museum. So I was like, mm-hmm. okay, cute. And then he's like, okay, we're going to go to, like, this popular bar area. Let's go to a bar before we wait for a reservation. I was like, great, cool. So we go to the bar, get a drink, uh-huh. and we play shuffleboard. Okay. And I've never played shuffleboard before. Me neither. Yeah. And then like, I was like, the old people game? And he was like, no, it's it's for young people. It's call it. I was like, I was in shuffleboard, like, what, they play on, like, cruise ships? Like, yeah. you know, is it not? Like, right. And he's like, no, like, they played in fraternities. Like, God. And I was like, oh. Like, How old was he? Uh, I think, like, 28 or 9. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, old, like, out of college, for sure. Right. So... I was like, okay, so we play, and I'm losing, and then I guess on my very last turn, uh-huh. I do it, and I knock his off, and my other two had gone in the three and the two, and I got another three, so I automatically won, okay. and like a full swipe, and he just got, he just walked off and went to the bar, and he's like, we're leaving now. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he got back because you won, or what? I guess. He didn't say anything, but he's just like, he's like, yeah, you won, and then he like walked off, so I was like, Okay, he's like, oh, he's I'm going, he's like, I'm going to the bathroom. I was like, okay, dude. Um, <laughs> so he ends up taking us to our reservation an hour early. Just because I guess he's like, doesn't like me. He's pissed that I beat him in a game. And I'm just kind of like, what the fuck is happening? Um, this we, is so awkward. Yeah, no, it's so awkward. We, and I'm just like, kind of like, can you just tell me so I can like leave? Because like, yeah. I'm like, I don't even know how to address it. Because I'm like, am I making this up? Am I being too yeah. sensitive? Yeah. Like is he you know i don't know how to read men (laughs) like yeah yeah. and so then like i feel like we had eaten before the museum as well so it's like i wasn't hungry because like we were supposed to be eating later yeah and so we just have like a really uncomfortable silent night and like the waitress even gave me the same look before where she's like girl you okay like what the fuck is up with this guy yeah and i'm just like girl what are you meeting these guys at internet (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so that's also why I just don't date. Oh, my God. Um, that's got to be the best answer you could have gave. 